Parlor Games. The first stretch goal unlocked through the Ashes of Creation Kickstarter way back in 2017 for raising $1 million towards it. Although a minor thing that most people don't think of when they think of the massive scale of an MMO, Parlor Games are still a fun and interactive social feature of MMOs that tend to be put on the back burner by a lot of players. In Ashes of Creation, like all things that Intrepid is doing with this game, Parlor Games will have a bit more complexity to them than just sitting down at a table and playing a quick game. As you are out adventuring and come across taverns, either those built by player or in node, you will have your chance to play some of these parlor games, which are a variation of some dice and card games. What games are in each tavern will vary based on the predominant race of the node that you are in, as dwarves might prefer one game and elves another. And who the heck even knows what a Tolnar would play? There also may be unique games that you can acquire throughout the world and bring back to your tavern to share with other people. Probably low on the priority list for you as a player as there is much crafting and war prep that needs to be done in between your dungeon running days. But this system is still something you probably won't want to miss out on at some point, especially for those who love to set out and roleplay or those completionists looking to get all of the cosmetic sets. It will be a great way to kill some time in the game while you're waiting for that next patch or expansion as well. These tavern games, which will require at least two people to play, will involve both chance and skill, perhaps making them a little less casual but not so intensive that you need to devote all of your time to it. I would assume that the chance and skill will vary based on which game you are playing as well. Although not a lot of detail has been revealed on these games and whether or not they will be games based on real life or completely made up by Intrepid, I would love to at least see one of these be on a larger scale that can be played throughout the world of Vera through tournaments kind of in the way that fishing tournaments will work, and perhaps this is a game that could be played in every tavern regardless of your influential race that players can set out to master in their spare time with other players. The only issue with this though is there would need to be some good incentive, as like I said earlier, these types of games tend to be those that sit on the back burner for players while they set out on their much grander adventure, and it wouldn't be a very fun system if you and two other players out of the 10,000 on the server are participating in them. We do know that players will be able to wager on these games with in-game currency, whether this currency is gold or a secondary currency is unknown as of yet, Intrepid is thinking about creating a secondary currency for this system that allows you into a market of various cosmetics, which sounds as though these would be exclusive to the system, and although nothing has actually been said about it, this could be a good alternative to allowing players to purchase store cosmetics as they could tie this currency into the store as well, so players have another way to earn cosmetics through the store without spending real life money. Obviously, it may take a while to earn and buy that cool outfit, but like I said, it's an alternative to spending real life money that could lessen the microtransaction blow that most companies tend to face when they launch. This secondary currency, if implemented, sounds like it could work on a ladder system aspect where the more you win, the higher you are on the ladder, and the more currency you are rewarded at the end of a set time. But last we heard, Intrepid was still working out the details on this and was undecided on how they will go forward with this system. But you know what helps? Player feedback. So obviously, leave your thoughts on this system in the comments. Anyways, one of the coolest things about tavern games is there is talks of them being playable in some fashion on the companion app. A companion app is something that Intrepid seems to be planning working side by side with Ashes of Creation, giving you some control of your character away from the computer, allowing for things such as crop rotation, player stalls, world notification on events happening, and parlor games, among many more ideas. Not something that is 100% going to be implemented, but it would be pretty cool to jump into a quick rounder five of cards or dice that benefits your character in game while you sit in the car waiting for your wife to come out of Target. I personally would get very good at parlor games in this time if I could play them on my phone. Anyways, what are your thoughts on parlor games in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know what kind of games you would like to see. And if you are new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to do so using my referral link in the description below as all referrals will help support this channel in the long run. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.